everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week I'll be showing you a technique that you can use for creating tile mosaics. You can put them at the bottom of pools, you can use them to decorate your architecture. Uh, there are a lot of applications for this technique. What's going to make it cool is we're going to use uh, this painting of Iron Man as rendered by Donato Giancola. It's an awesome painting, he's an awesome painter, and we're going to, um, we're going to use that as the base for this technique. Of course, you can use any one of his paintings. You can find them at donatoart.com. That's D-O-N-A-T-O-A-R-T.com. So once you're there and you've selected a, a high-res image for, for, your, for following along here, I'm going to right-click and you're going to want to copy the image. And we're going to bring it into Photoshop or your favorite uh, 2D program. You'll notice that I've started off uh, an image of the correct size already, and I have one layer that's completely black, and then on top of that, I'm going to put Donato's painting. So what we need to do here is apply a filter that's going to create the mosaic pattern, and then I'll show you how to bring that and the bump map into Studio Max and then create the material that you need. So on top of uh, Donato's painting, I'm going to put one more layer, and we're going to fill it with white. So I'm going to hold down Control, hit Delete, and it fills it with my background color, which is white. I'm going to head up to Filter, and I'm going to select Texture and Stained Glass. That's the effect that we want, this sort of alligator skin type pattern. Um, you can adjust the cell size a little bit. I like to keep it around uh, 4 or 5 for something of this um, detail. The border thickness tends to stay as low as possible. I'm going to keep it at 1. And light intensity is for 3D effects. We don't want anything to do with that. So I'm going to click OK. And now that we have the pattern that we want, we need to extract the cells from the, from the borders, from the grout. So I'm going to select Color Range. And I'm going to select one of the white cells. So I'm selecting the white color. The fuzziness is what's going to start getting that anti-aliasing effect around the cells. So I'm going to leave it at 51 and click OK. Now that we've got the effect that we want, I'm going to hide the layer on top. I'm going to select the Iron Man layer and I'm going to create a mask. You'll notice that what this has done is made the painting slightly transparent along the grout which gives way to our grout color. You can, it can be black, it could be anything you want, but I've made my grout black. Now, as with a mosaic, what we need to do is kind of knock down some of the detail that's in this painting. Donato's paintings are exceptionally detailed. They're very, very good. But what we need is something a little bit more sketch-like. So I'm going to reselect the, the Iron Man painting layer. I'm going to go up to Filter. And what we need is something that will really knock this down in terms of detail. I'm going to go to my filter gallery and pick out a nice one. Actually, this will do just fine. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to select the Fresco artistic filter, Fresco. And I'm going to keep the brush size really high. The brush detail is going to stay pretty low, probably around 3 or 4. And that's removed a lot of the detail from the painting, but you can still tell it's Iron Man, right? So I'm going to click OK. Ah, this is looking great. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and save this file, save as. And I want to save this as Iron Man Diffuse. Save. OK. And for our bump map, we want to take the original, the original pattern that we got for creating this mosaic effect. I'm going to go ahead and blur this just a little bit because I want the bump map to catch light better and this will create a smooth curved effect for each tile. Less sharp. Same process, file, save as, Iron Man bump, and click save. Yes, okay, whatever, do it. Okay. Well, it looks like we're done with Photoshop. Let's hop over to 3D Studio Max. Now I've already set up my scene here. It's already lit. Uh, I've created this picture frame. It's in a gallery, so it's got these tasteful striped things on the background. And I've created a little plaque that says Iron Man. It's very stylish. Let me show you the right material to use for this mosaic effect. 
I'm going to choose Pro Materials Ceramic. I'm using Mental Ray, by the way. If you want to do this in Scanline, you'll have to uh, probably use Ray Trace. Click OK. For our color reflectance material, I'm going to pick a map, a bitmap. Double click on that. And of course, I want our Iron Man diffuse or whatever painting you used. I click open. OK. And for the surface finish, I'm just going to choose a satin finish. For the surface bumps, I'm going to want custom bump map. And that map is, of course, going to be the bump map that we saved that has the, the tile pattern on it that's identical to the diffuse map. Note that if you apply that filter twice, if you apply the stained glass filter once to the diffuse map and once for the bump map, you're going to get two different patterns and it's not going to look right. So make sure to use the technique that I told you because that will let you keep the same pattern for both. So I've brought in the bump map and I'm going to increase the bump amount here to uh, oh, 35 might do it. And um, it looks like we are all set. I don't think I want to do anything else to this material. Let's take a render and see what that looks like. Okay, I like how this turned out. So what we've done is we took the original painting and we brought it into Photoshop, muddied it up a little bit. We created a mosaic map that we can use in 3D Studio Max to make it into a tiled mosaic. We brought it in as a ceramic material and rendered it. And it looks great. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website www.mrbluesummers.com.